Okay, it is the day of Glacier. We just got up. Steph is about to cook some breakfast. There's the rental car I was talking about yesterday. It has arrived. Luna is feeling frisky because it's chilly out here this morning. It's like, what, 49? Yeah, 49 degrees. Um, it's going to be awesome. Come along into Glacier. She's, she's so frisky. She's ready to look She's so frisky. She's so frisky. Do you want to No, but there is a there's a free dog swimming area where you can let a dog off the chain to swim. Well, that's not happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get some breakfast and we're gonna head out. to the falls. Walk in fast. Don't trip or you'll fall to your death. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee's almost ready. Nice. I'm gonna walk across the street.
snow. All right, this is what the kids wanted to do. Oh, look, look, this is like solid ice right here, Alor. Connor, you see this? Solid ice cube inside the snow. I want to eat it. Oh, wow, that's funny. I want to eat it. Can you, like, grab this? <laughs> Can I eat it? Like, no, do I eat it? It's dirty. Everyone's gotten out and touched it. Yeah? That's good. Smiley face? I wish it would stick. Like King should, Kong. You should do a D like they did. They did an A in there. Put a D. It's a rock. Is it cold? Oh yeah, that's ice cold. Yeah. Oh, good. Bro, what? Yeah, look, it's like a magnet. Watch it. <laughs> Try and make a D for the Disney the homestead. Ugh. <laughs> Your hands cold. Cold. <laughs> Bro, Dad. Bro, Dad. Dad. Mm. The, the, the 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 rock juke me out, bro. Like. I, I put the rock on, right? Mm -hmm. I grabbed the rock, and then I, I was trying to stick it on, right? And then I went like this. I did it like this, and it was on. And then, but then it wasn't so sticky. And then, as as I was gonna go like, like hit it to make it stick on more, it was like, and I just, <laughs> and I just hit the, I just hit the. <laughs> it got you. <laughs> Ready? Under the car. Yeah, because it looks like a cat Barra. Marmot? Yeah. Harry Marmot? No, oh, look at the goats. We have stopped for a quick break at Lake St. Mary, although we're not down at the lake. We're at a little picnic spot. We packed sandwiches, some chips, and some cookies, and waters. 
dogs have gotten some water. And, um, yeah, we're just, uh, hanging out. The only problem is that the dogs are not allowed on the trails. There's only a very select few dog trails available, so right now we're just having to get out and, um, let them stretch their legs in some public areas. So, but we're enjoying lunch. There's a little brown bear. Yeah, he's eating something. Okay, Laura, what is your favorite part of the park? Probably when we saw the big waterfall and we went under the tunnel. The big waterfall and going under the tunnel? Mm -hmm. That was pretty awesome. All right. All right, Connor, what was your favorite part of the drive today? My favorite part of the drive was probably going uh, up, the, up the big mountain and looking at the weeping pool. The weeping wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And we yeah. got water all over us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Caden, what was your favorite part of day one in Glacier? I think the scenery. The scenery, the scenery in, in general? Mm -hmm. If you had to pick one place in the park that was your favorite to go, what was it? Uh, maybe... Where we stopped, up at the top. Logan's Pass? Yeah. Yeah, the Logan's Pass was pretty cool. It was really pretty up there. I liked it up there. Awesome. You ready for day two? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, babe. Tell me what your favorite part of going to the Sun Road and Mini Glacier was. That's going to be really hard. Um, and I know you told me to like be thinking about it, but... Uh -huh. My favorite part, I, I just, I guess like, I can't pick, but all of the waterfalls, I guess, were really cool. I want to say like also us pulling over and having coffee by the waterfall, but also pulling over and having our lunch together mm -hmm. and pulling over and yeah. by the taking pictures by the waterfall yeah. the, when we first and then seeing the black or seeing the, the grizzly, grizzly the little baby grizzly oh my gosh that was so cool <coughs> so just... can you pick one <laughs> <laughs> um you're just, you're just gonna say all of it, <coughs> it it's was, hard it it's was hard. the I most beautiful drive 
we've ever been on. We've 100 percent. Ever been on. And 100 percent. I never thought anything would beat the Tetons. Yeah. For me, but we were. It was like we, so when you drive, you could probably drive in the Tetons. I don't know. We never have, but we drove past the Tetons. But this was you were in it. You were in it and surrounded by it, and it was just like something it takes your breath away well speaking of breath like the air oh yeah one time steph just recording got a got like uh what'd you get motion sickness because you were just recording i was standing was like... i was standing still i wasn't moving i was just standing in one spot but i was recording everything around me right. and i looked and i was just like oh i got like a little bit of vertigo or something it was just weird because yeah. The grandness of yeah. like everything around us was amazing and beautiful and fresh and clean yeah. and I don't know it was just everything was great. I will say I tried to drive the first part of the trip, but you wouldn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> you felt were... better with me driving. But just, the second, just in case. But the second, but the way back I drove. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and it was fine. Okay, I don't know if you answered my question at all, oh, but uh, I would just, I'm just going to say what's I your... agree with everything that you said, but my favorite part was <clears throat> getting out and making coffee by the waterfall. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, we, we, got, we got to see a lot of wild, a, a good amount of wildlife. Mm-hmm. And uh, elk, was... bears, deer, chipmunks, squirrels. Lesson learned, though. A couple lessons. I will say, if you're if you're planning on taking a trip to Glacier, I would say make sure you have a vehicle that can go the entire way. Because I was telling Buddy, I can't imagine if we didn't rent a car and yeah. we weren't able to take the RV through just a small <clears> fraction <throat> of the park. You need to have a vehicle that can go the whole way. So I'm super glad that we did that. Also did not know until we got in the park that 99% of the trails don't allow dogs. Yeah. We brought Kenga and Luna, we brought all of our hiking gear, but we couldn't go on any of the trails because we had the dogs, which was okay because today we spent most of the time just riding in the car and taking in the scenery, which was yeah. a great, great all day trip. Everywhere we got out, we were able to bring the dogs with us. We just couldn't go on a trail. Trail, yeah. So tomorrow yeah. we ha are going to go down the one trail that allows dogs. Mm -hmm. And that's our that's our plan for tomorrow is to actually go on a hike with the dogs. And then um, bring them back to the RV after they've been worn out. And then maybe we'll go back out and explore a little bit more. Do a hike, yeah. Yeah. So, All right. see tomorrow. Well, Glacier Part 1 was success so awesome it was amazing yeah thank you guys for joining us on this one we'll catch you on the next one bye bye on the denman homestead where the sun sets golden in the west we live in harmony with nature doing what we love best from the garden to the kitchen and the bees inside their hive on the Denman homestead, come along and plant, nourish, thrive.